Red tote with the bookies a dollar ninety out to two thirty. They're ready. Set and racing. Miss War Trace Zafa Star begin fast and look at Buca Kayo showing any amount of speed and so too is Yardglass on settling. Buca Kayo just in front of Yardglass. Trailing through there was Miss War Trace to almost make a line of three. Manhattan Flyer is fourth as they go to the first turn, followed by Grobala who's on the outside of Star Fasar. And they're followed then by Celestial Goddess and Quabla. Further back was Lost Thief. And then we've got coming down the side of the track there was going to be Jerry Ville, followed by Star Rossity. It's got back third last, being passed there by Gray opinion then circuit breaker and gypsy gold is last 600 meters to go and over on the inside buca kayo a narrow front runner here over yard glass celestial goddess peeling out to three wide followed by miss wartrace fourth on the inside just sweating on a run manhattan flyers back behind those i'm looking for the favorite star rossity hard ridden still back in the second half of the field 300 to go and buca kayo got away on the outside celestial goddess continues to battle well and now miss wartrace is into the clear she's coming through in the center wider out jerry villain grobala 200 meters left to go. Buka Kau is in front. Getting up on the inside here is Zafa Star, but Buka Kau has still got a kick. Flying late, Jerry Ville and Miss Wartrace. Buka Kau are in front. Buka Kawa, I think. Buka Kao and nose to Miss Wartrace. Third, probably Jerry Ville in front of Zafa Star. Then came Star Rossity, ran on when it was all over, ran about fifth. Then Quabla followed by Grobala, Lost Thief, Celestial Goddess. Further back then came Gypsy Gold, Grey Opinion, Manhattan Flyer, Circuit Breaker, and Yard Glass was the last one home. Maybe the inside ones kicked strongly enough, Buka Kao. Miss Wartrace coming at it. It's between 11 Buca Kayo and 13 Miss Wartrace. I thought the 11 might just hold on. Standing by for the result in a uh, very keenly contested maiden affair. Golly, it was a, uh, a go down to the line. Yeah, there'll be a margin for the inside horse by about a half head looking at the photo finish, which I've now got the advantage of having in my broadcast box here. It will be on the inside, Buca Kao getting it, and it has done. 11, 13, 6 and 3. 11, 13, 6 and 3. So, 11, Buca Kao, a debutante, Jim Byrne for Chris Anderson. That's a double for Chris today. A daughter of Snitzel and Lulu is Buca Kao and fought gamely all the way to the wire. To just hold out number 13, Miss Wartrace, Chris Munts for Alicia Willick. Third in was the six, and that was Jerry Ville. Adam Best for Mark Webb. Fourth, number three, Zafar Star. And fifth in, number five, Grobelar. So 11, 13, 6 and 3. The last 600 covered in 35 and 41. So there you go. Buca Kao has taken out the uh, first division of the, uh, the Maiden. Had run seventh in a Deegan trial just before Christmas. But... Uh, Basically burnt the candle at both ends, did plenty of work and was able to kick away in the early part of the home straight and hold on, which is not easy to do here. But Buca Kayo has managed that. We could have won it if we wanted to, but I just wanted to go and have a nice experience first up. And um, we since then gave her a jump out two weeks post, post that uh, trial and she jumped out really, really nicely. And uh, I was happy today going into that. I didn't expect Jimmy to go forward like he did, so I was very, very nervous. And um, I think she's going to be a horse that probably wants to get 1,400 to a mile. Yeah. But she's really, really well bred. I'm thrilled for the owners. They're just wonderful people. And, uh, you know, she's the best bred horse in my stable. She's by Snitzel over milk with Lulu that was pretty handy. Gerald Ryan's got a, uh, a half-brother to this filly that's a two-year-old that ran third in town at Rose Hill a fortnight ago. So I'd um, love to get some more Snitzels. Yeah, how, how, what's the background to her? Um, I actually really liked her. I went to the Inglis Classic Sale last year in Sydney and um, I wanted to buy her and the guys who uh, I was trying to get into her just weren't prepared to wait for a three-year-old because she was always going to be a three-year-old. So um, uh, the person who ended up buying you, I loved her and obviously then found me and gave me an opportunity to train her, so thrilled today. Yeah, it's remarkable, isn't it? You've got to savour these moments, Chris, haven't you, in racing? You do, Steve, you do. I love it, and, um, you know, thanks to you and everyone that supports me out there, and in the media, it's, uh, it's great, and I'm, I'm very thankful for it. Good on you, Chris. Thanks so much, Steve. Here's Chris Anderson again with this, uh, this, this schnitzel filly, Gavin, book of KO winning here. Um, but clearly, uh, if you back Star Rossity, you go to the bar and have a stiff scotch, because I don't think any doubt that uh, with a bit more luck, she runs right over the top of them, but she just found no luck. But anyway... Uh, Chris Anderson's having a day to savour here.
Now that winner, number 11, Buca Kayo, $28.30 on the win tote. And for a place was $5.20. 13, Miss Wartrace, $1.50. 6, Jerryville, $11.70 the place. The Quinella was 75.10. The Exactor, 148. The Trifecta, I've never seen this, the Trifecta paying so much more than the first four. Somebody must have got the whole pool. The Trifecta is 14,672. That's the Trifecta. And the first four, ending in number three, 8,295. So on that occasion, you did better the, with the Trifecta than the first four. I'm going to suggest one person probably got the whole pool and there's more in the Trifecta than the first four. And the extra double on five and 11 paid 88 bucks.